having trouble moving on. And with Three of Cups and King of Swords, it doesn't help that she, in my belief, uses... Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to No Life Tarot. My name is Hallie. So grateful to have you all. Let's get into this reading. I'm really excited to do this update. It's about Jason Sudeikis and I love you wild. Um, I did promise you all I would keep you updated about what's going on with their kids and their breakup and so forth and so forth. I suppose it did happen two years ago, which is very interesting. But I feel like they never really got closure because she ended up very quickly in a relationship with Harry um, as all of you know <laughs> lots of you are not happy about <laughs> please excuse the mess in the back I am packing because uh, I'm moving so my room is a disaster so I apologize I wasn't gonna do any videos but I was like you know what I love doing this so much and I love interacting with you all so that's why I decided to okay so please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to stick around. Uh, we just made over 2k, so I'm really happy about that. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm so grateful. Okay, let's get into this reading. Um, it's not going to be that long. It's so just to let you know. I obviously am not going to be like super quick, but these updates usually aren't very long. So with Ace of Swords in reverse, Seven of Pentacles, and Seven of Cups. So I just have this energy that I feel like he still wants her back and it's kind of really sad but poor guy um, he's a very loyal person he's a Virgo and Virgo and Pisces are opposite signs she's son of Pisces he's son of Virgo and I just feel especially with this dreamer energy that he just feels like something happened to her you know and sometimes when people are abruptly broken up with it's hard to get over and I think that's what happened with him I think he was so abruptly broken up with that he was like what happened to her she was put under a spell no 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 my wife my fiance was a different person like he's really having trouble even though it's been two years He's having trouble moving on. And with Three of Cups and King of Swords, it doesn't help that she, in my belief, uses a kind of like um, friendship. She knows how to manipulate him and it works. Because at the bottom of the deck of the lovers, I strongly believe he's still in love with her. So him being still in love with her kind of sends him on a, an emotional roller coaster. I think that's why one minute he's serving her papers, the next minute he's defending her because he himself doesn't know. I believe in my heart he wants her back and he's trying all different kinds of ways. He's like, that's the person for me, you know? That's the person for me and I'll try to get her back. Nine of Cups by ones eight of cups so even if he has to compete by ones usually about competition even if he, ha if he has to compete with other people he believes and i see him doing this for the next two years i see him trying he's not gonna date anybody else i've said this before even though i think harry is a cool person um, I don't mean cool like as in I like, know him he has swag he has a lot going for him I would choose a Jason over a Harry and I'll tell you why I think Jason is very loyal but the thing is you know he's a little on the weak side and I don't really like weak guys but he will see <laughs> sounds horrible to say but his loyalty is like dog loyalty you know he's gonna stay by if he loves you, he'll stay by your side no matter what. No matter, matter what. If he believes you're the person for him, he'll stay by your side. 
and that kind of loyalty as an Aquarius I love because you never you'll never have to question I think that's why a lot of my friends are Virgos um because you'll never have to question when you stand with that person so seven of swords and page of swords she is very cut cutthroat right now how they're communicating is very cutthroat he wants more from this he wants more from her he wants more from the situation but it's very much she's like very like um methodical cold she doesn't really have time she's a very interesting person i must say that i'm not a fan of her but i just like you know obviously this is why i do what i do i like to study people and see like the deeper side of things but four pentacles turn to ones it's almost like she's like she's telling him i'm working on myself i don't have time for anybody that's negative vibes you know i think she looks down upon him and tells him i think she does this often in the relationship where if he had a concern she would say to him and that's what a lot of narcissistic personalities will do to you when you say this is how not necessarily you made me feel but this is what you did to me they'll say oh you did it to yourself because of this and it's like no take accountability but they accountability and narcissism are two opposite ends of the spectrum so six of swords and divine wisdom he's going to see her mask slowly come down because even though he's in denial it's like she's the one for me no 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 the mask is going to slowly fade. So, I love you all. Please comment. Please be respectful, even though I know you don't like a lot of you. I'm in that same boat. I'm not a fan. But please still be respectful. Take care.